behalf of the Group on Earth Observations, the GEO Secretariat, I'd like to thank you for the kind invitation to be here. I'd like to acknowledge the role that RCMRD is now going to play with AFRIGEO and extend our thanks to South Africa, to the Department of Science and Innovation for their continued support and to SANSA for their support as well. Uh, I would like to point out the role that Africa has played in GEO over the last year, the leadership role. South Africa has been the lead co-chair for the GEO Executive Committee which is made up of 16 countries of the more than 100 UN member states in GEO. And there's also the Digital Earth Africa initiative, which is not only taking a leadership role in what's happening in Africa, but is acting as a showcase and an exemplar for other global regions. So we're now looking at developing Digital Earth Latin America, Digital Earth Pacific, and other activities based on the work of Digital Earth Africa. Um, I'd like to say that we've made great progress this year with the engagement priorities. So looking at the policy instruments around Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the Paris Climate Agreement, and the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. We've more recently added in some work on the new urban agenda, so looking at urban topics. So this is very important as well in terms of our global work for Earth observations. Particularly in Africa, we've been doing work around GeoGlow for global agricultural monitoring. We've been doing GeoLDN for land degradation neutrality. We're doing GeoGlows for global water sustainability and GeoBlue Planet for looking at our oceans. We've had some success stories where we've had support from the private sector where we've had Amazon Web Services who've given us millions of dollars to support cloud credits to enable countries to use the cloud free to them. So we've had 20 developing countries from across the world who've been given that. And we've, as a result, we've had other private sector companies come to us. So I'd just like to close by saying what I hope we hear this week is more about building on the Global Earth Observation System of Systems, GEOS, and just highlight that we're now moving to a knowledge hub where we want to take more of the data coming out of the work program from GEO and, and coming out of GEOS and share that more broadly with everyone. Um, and look at moving from open data, which is very important, but to open science and reproducibility. So I hope we hear a lot about how we can make much more of the data and the science that's available to help us live in a sustainable planet. Thank you very much.